epoxy to help the real life needs. And it's not only social, it's not only communicating between people make the web social, but also it enables internet of things. So it means that everything, not only people are connected to these virtual spaces. And we are going to show you a demonstration today where we are controlling a real life, I speak real life because it makes it virtual and real, real life radio station about 500 kilometers from here, from virtual space. So we are actually interacting with a very complicated hardware, hardware software system located in near Oulu. And then we are going to show you something. Okay, so let me first introduce myself. <laughs> this is Mr. Hulko in 3D Radio Arcala World. Radio Arcala is the name of this uh, radio station which is 500 kilometers from here. And of course in virtual space you have many talents which are not always available here in real life. <laughs> which is quite handy by the way, you don't always have to walk around. So here what you see, you see the implementation of, uh, of the radio station itself. We have big six big towers there. They are rotating, remotely controlled, covering frequency bands from 1.8 gigahertz, uh, megahertz to 2,800 megahertz. 28,000. Uh, yes, 28 megahertz. So this is a radio, uh, amateur radio station, which uh, that's my hobby. I've been doing this very, very long, many years, and I love the hobby. The problem is now that how to get young people interested because also in this hobby people are not any fascinated to speak to each other all over the world because internet makes it very easy but we have some things in our minds how we try to also, also uh, attract young people. Okay, here is my friend Tommy. Tommy is not here physically. I mean he's, he's here but he's in a virtual space. I can, I speak a little bit with typing because I just say hi to Tommy and he is there. I don't know what he's doing, maybe he's sleeping. <laughs> ah, no, he's answering. Okay, good. So that the idea is that everybody I invite here can be in our state. In Japan, it doesn't matter where they are. Then I have uh, here a radio station which has made the user interface we wanted to make simple because our real life user interface is much more complicated. Too many small, small knobs. We wanted to make it simple here, which is quite easy with this. this uh, I do have to do something here. Okay, now I try to put the station on. I got it on. <coughs> now I need some audio. Ah, sorry, I, I was pushing two times. Okay. Now I'm connected to radio station and to, with the noise you hear is the oldest signal on this planet. So you know what that signal is. Almost white noise, but not quite. <laughs> so, okay, I'm here. And now I want to try to get a contact with somebody. One, two, three, four, testing. Oh, it's two, Mike, Mike. Oh, it's two, Mike, Mike. Olsen, Henry, eight, Nancy, Charlie. Are you around, Ville? Yeah, okay. Okay, oh, eight, eight, Nancy, Charlie. This is Ocean Hotel, two, Mike, Mike. Uh, do you copy? Rats, rats, I copy you very well. We are here in a presentation uh, situation. I have many people in, in the same room. And I try to demonstrate how we can use the real radio station remotely from a virtual space. So we are now in virtual space, but I bet you are real, are all you? Are you? Go ahead. Yeah, okay, okay. You got to see you here. Let me see if I can get you to Okay, hello for everybody. Very good afternoon. 
Okay, Rats, I, <laughs> I don't think it's snowing, that thing I know for sure, but in the morning it was sun is even shining, so it looks pretty nice here. By the way, your signal is 5 and 9, good signal here. I think, uh, can you hear him also? When